So everyone has played on the high server, they've played hide and seek, sky wars, survival games, murder mystery, and all of those other games. But some things that you probably didn't know lie inside the games. There are a bunch of cool hidden secrets and easter eggs that you probably didn't see on your first time playing. So today's episode, I want to show you a bunch of them that you probably didn't know or didn't see on your first time playing on the high. Be sure to like and subscribe on this video as it really helps me out a ton. And let's get to the first easter egg. So the first secret I want to talk to you guys about are map changes. Basically, if you've played Murder Mystery maps, you know, they look decorative, fun, with all these 3D models and everything. But, they're not always the same. For example, this oven right here, as you can see, it's, it's an actual oven, you know, gray with green dripping from it. But, sometimes when you queue in Murder Mystery games, it looks like this. As you can see, a pink oven, which is kind of interesting. Another example, these clocks. See, they're green, they make sounds, and, and they're in cool and interesting, I guess. But, whenever, sometimes you can get brown clocks, just like these. They are kind of interesting secrets that you generally don't notice when you're playing Murder Mystery. But I guess now that I've told you, maybe you'll start noticing them more often. There are probably tons of more examples, so keep your eyes out for any more secrets. So now, let's get to the next secret. So the next secret I want to show you is basically which school, which is a Murder Mystery map, is the only current map and game that you can actually change your skin by paying coins. Now sadly, uh, Witch School has been removed silently, but we have confirmation from Splodger, as you can see up here, that Witch School will be coming back in Halloween. But basically, in Witch School, you can pay 5 coins and you can transform into a chicken. It's currently the only map that you can actually do that. So my final tip for Murder Mystery is that it is possible to get murdered twice in a row. While I've been grinding Murder Mystery for the past couple of weeks, I've gotten murdered a bunch of times twice in a row. So it is possible, it's just fairly, very, very rarely that you'll get the chance. But it's interesting to know that you do have the chance. So let's get on with the next tip. So, Sarai Games has a bunch of map secrets. But one map secret that you probably didn't know is a lava room. Now, if you didn't know already, you can break the leaves, as you can see. But if you go over to this barnyard place over here and you break these leaves, there's a secret little tunnel. You go down to the tunnel, and yes, you do get apples from breaking the leaves. You got a secret little lava room that you can parkour across, or even have a deathmatch in here. I don't know. And just takes you to this little room underneath the house that you can also access it from right here. This is something people haven't really seen, but there's a little map secret if you want to know where it is. Right here, next to the barn. So the next secret is inside of the map office in Murder Mystery. Now this this map kind of seems you know standard and everything until you look at this sign. Underscore Tim's office. Now, you know, this office doesn't look very interesting, but the person's office does. Basically, underscore Tim, if you didn't know, he is a part of the Hive build team. He's a map builder, and that's a cheeky little reference towards him. I believe he did build this map, so it's great that he honored himself by having his own office, I guess. <laughs> so the next thing are the game NPCs. As you can see, you know, we we got, you know, a, a girl sheriff and a pirate. But whenever I do slash hub and I go to another hub, oh, they changed around. Now the sheriff is a, is a boy and the pirate is a girl. These are some interesting little game NPC changes that you probably didn't notice. Same applies for Bob the Builder over here and even the DSG and PC2. Now the final final secret for this video is that there are exclusive costumes that you can unlock for doing certain things. For example, if you have a 365 day login streak on the Hive, you get the Time Owl skin. A very rare skin that not many people have. Another skin that you can, that you can get is the, the Chumpus skin. That's based off of the Discord mascot Wumpus and they've made a skin around. The way to unlock that skin is that you have to boost the Hive server which also gives you the booster hub title in the high. Now I do note that the booster hub title and the Chumpus uh, skin only last so long as you have a active Discord Nitro boost on the high server. Once it runs out, you can't 
you can't use them until you boost the server again. Pretty interesting. There's a final skin on the Hive called the Java Beast skin, which was only unlockable if you had purchased Hive Premium on your Minecraft account. Sadly, Hive Java doesn't exist, so do the ranks, but if you can find a person with that type of skin, consider yourself lucky, because not many people have it. Another secret that you probably didn't know is that Murder Mystery and Treasure Wars have 100 levels. No, just kidding, everyone knows that. The thing that you probably didn't know is that whenever you get level 100 in Murder Mystery, you get a, a costume for it, which is a hard reward to get, if I say so myself. But, in Treasure Wars, you get the costume at level 75. This is because Murder Mystery launched with 100 levels from the get-go. But Treasure Wars didn't. Treasure Wars launched with 20 levels, and then periodically, with content updates, it got more levels. It went from 20 to 50 to 75, and then finally to 100 as we know today. So I guess that's a little sweet costume that you get along the way if you're grinding Treasure Wars to level 100. And if you are grinding Treasure Wars to level 100, I just uploaded a video giving my tips and tricks on how to get max level in Treasure Wars. I would definitely recommend you guys checking out that video in the card at, in the top right. In the new summer themed map on the Hive, it is actually possible to get inside of this little cave over here. So what you have to do is just follow this path and then you turn right between the waterfall down the vine and you can actually go down here and yeah a secret little room not much use to it but fun to know i guess now another final thing that you probably didn't know about the hive is that yes the bra and the poker subtitles do exist let, let me just show you them right now here we go bra and poggers Yes, those top titles do exist, but sadly, they aren't unlockable. They were unlockable for one day during the high Christmas event in 2020. Basically, right down here where the fountain is, there used to be a giant Christmas tree, and around it, 12 presents to signify 12 days of Christmas. And each day, you would unlock a random cosmetic. And two, and as you know, two of them were the Brawl Hub title and the Poggler subtitle. Many people really want the hub titles, and sadly, that was the only day you can unlock them. Very sad. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know this is kind of different from what, from my tips and tricks on grinding games videos, but I still want to do it just so I can interest you guys in some easter eggs and secrets that you probably didn't know about the hive. Make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out a ton. I really want to try to grow this channel a lot and yeah, the next video will hopefully be another tips and tricks video. So yeah, I'll see you all guys in the next episode. Bye!